The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program, depending on their content. I would like to have my presentation on uh, the durability of uh, sustainable low cement content for DOT applications. Uh, this work has been done in the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, uh, and contribution of uh, Wisconsin Madison, and together with my colleagues and professor like Kersolov here, and our colleagues in UW Madison. Uh, well, the issue is we do a lot of bridge ratings and. For the most part, we, we do a lot of inspection as well, and we, we, when we go through all this, uh, a lot of it is related to bridge deck, and we overlay our bridge deck, depending on the state, about every 20 years, and we normally redo the whole deck every 40 years, uh, which means we're designing for 20 years overlay and 40 years uh, for, the, for the whole deck. But, uh, but if you take into account a little bit effort and trying to design a, a mix a mix with, a, with currently available material so we can at least uh, expand the, the life cycle of our bridge decks. Uh, in this presentation today, I'm talking about the materials being used for this project. Uh, we're going to briefly talk about mechanical performance, uh, and then uh, we're we're basically looking at rapid chloride permeability and freestyle durability of the mix of the of the experimental matrix we have uh, accomplished, and we'll talk briefly about uh, our findings. The problem is in Wisconsin, uh, the Flash F is not currently being used. They're all in the spec, uh, the slag Flash F C. They're all in the spec, but uh, the Flash F cannot be is not being used. Uh, there are other research that's being done before, but the issue is they are not able to. Uh, well, we have to use air and training admixtures, uh, but Flash F, because it has a high uh, loss, a high carbon content, it's, it brings a lot of incompatibility when you want to optimize or reach whatever the spec is, 6% plus minus 1%, 2% air content. You cannot reach that because of uh, incompatibility between carbon content of Flash F. Uh, so to be able to use Flash F, uh, which is which is as 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 much available as Flash C, uh, is being one reason this research has been accomplished, uh, and then it also saves a lot of uh, money because if you're able to use Flash F, we we will be able to produce more more uh, mixtures with with uh, reduced amount of content or replace with supplementary some material. material. Uh, currently, DOT spec is using. Uh, between uh, 520 to 560 pounds per cubic yard as the upper lower limit. I just put the, the lower limit here. Uh, they're interested in reducing cement content. Uh, what we have gone through is 470 pounds per cubic yard, uh, which is 10%, and then another level as 420, which is like four, four and a half, four, four and a half sack cement. Uh, three different supplementary cement materials is being used, as I mentioned, flash set FC. Three different levels of three different classes of admixture is being used. Currently, they're using mid-range SNF mixture is being used, and then PCE polycarboxylic uh, ether is being used. Three different commonly used cement is being uh, established for this project. Uh, they all have to all the standards is, are being based in the spec, so I'm not talking about the, the testing procedures very much. But uh, they are interested in. Uh, Three-day, well, in bridge decks, we probably don't have much issue with uh, open traffic that early, but that's the same spec as they're using for the concrete pavements and for the roadways. Uh, free side durability has to be passed for 300 cycles RCP. Uh, durability also uh, has to be addressed. Um, so, talking about the the goal of this research of this research uh, was to perf to Established mixed design that can pass the spec and pass uh, 
the incompatibility issues that we're going to have with uh, using so many different types of uh, materials. So for the 10% reduction, type 1 cement is being compared as a reference to with three different supplementary cementitious material and uh, with uh, different admixtures. It's also being compared to different admixtures as a reference. So the reference is being uh, you compared, different cements is being compared with different supplementary. They're also compared with different admixtures. And uh, for the two other cements, they're only compared to mid-range and PCE, like high-range water, high water reducing admixtures. And then uh, they're, they're also compared uh, in uh, different uh, supplementary cementitious material. The aggregate is being used. This research has been accomplished with two different types of aggregate of uh, southern and northern Wisconsin, but I'm presenting on southern Wisconsin aggregates right now. Uh, limestone crushed aggregates, and then uh, sand. As far as material characterization, there are three different cements that are slightly different in chemistry, uh, which uh, sometimes shows different early strength uh, compared one compared to them to another. Uh, and then you can see the properties of the, the chemical composition of the slag is, is almost similar to cement, uh, and then flash FC, which are obvious too. Uh, as far as mix design, uh, it's as per DOT spec, and then same as uh, supplementary cementitious material dosages. 30% fly ash is being used based on Wisconsin spec for replacement, and 50% of the slag, 30% uh, for fly ash F and C, and 50% for the slag is being used. Uh, the slump air content unit weight are all, all based on spec. Compressive strength is being uh, looked between one day to 90 days and 360 days. We're still waiting for some of the 30, 360 days. Uh, RCP for 30 day and 90 days is being looked at. Uh, and then freestyle for 56 days, which is 20, which uh, which has been uh, tested for uh, 28 days, saturated uh, with uh, salt water. And then uh, 28 day uh, cure, curing and then 28 days uh, uh, drying. I mentioned we we're using three different admixtures. We can't just take an admixture and use it in, in, in the mix design. Uh, we had to optimize, we had to screen all these admixtures and screen down to three types for each class, for one type for each class. Uh, and then they, the way we use isothermal calorimetry to optimize the dosage of the admixture. The, the commercial companies, they, they always suggest you some, some dosages, but there's a range into it. And because you're using different different cements and different supplementary, you have to be careful with uh, what dosage is appropriate. So if you look at this this dark one here, is the reference just just with normal cement, uh, one of the cements. And then uh, this HG7 is actually the PCE. It's a high range water reducing admixture. It delays a little bit uh, the cement hydration, but if you replace 30% uh, fly ash F, you see that uh, dark blue one in the middle here. And then the, low, the one on the, below it is slag, which is giving you a less heat uh, release because you're using higher dosage of replacement versus flash F where you're using 30%, you're using 50% for slag. And then flash C obviously is, as, as you expect, is showing you a little bit higher than these two, uh, which means uh, it's more cementitious, so it's, it's more reactive than flash F and less blue So the labeling they're using here, uh, C1 to C3, uh, R as uh, th is the first one, and the second one is S is indicating the southern aggregate, which is the same all the way through. And then uh, the third letter you see is uh, indicating the admixture, mid M for mid-range, N for SNF, and P for PCE. Uh, and then the fourth letter is indicating supplementary cementation material, and if you see an R, it, it indicates it's a reduced content. So the, these nine mixtures at the bottom are all reduced, and the one above it are 10% uh, uh, reduction. And then these three are indicating a slag, uh, flash F, flash C, and the reference mixtures. Uh, what is interesting in this table is uh, if you look at uh, the, well, I don't, this is just the experimental. We'll see. These dosages are, are being, has, has come out of the isothermal calorimetry, is being held constant throughout the experiment. If you look at the compressive strength uh, briefly, 
uh, cement one is is showing a normal behavior, but then if you compare to cement two and cement three, cement two is high, is showing a slightly higher early strength, but the 28 day strength is almost similar, and then cement three is showing a slightly lower performance uh, as far as compressive strength. Uh, flexural strength is basically representing the same uh, behavior as as compressive strength. They're all being uh, produced in different water in different levels of water cement ratio uh, because we need to be within the spec and we need to produce mixtures that is that can that DOT can actually use. So we had to play with water cement ratio because the cement content is held constant. So we had to play with water cement ratio. That's the only variable we can play with to get the right slump, which is between one to four uh, inches. Um, Fly HC and PCE are showing outstanding results. If you compare uh, PCE mixtures of the reference, uh, you can see they're basically 10 to 30 percent showing uh, better impro improvement in the compressive strength, uh, which is obvious because a lot of the times they give you more uh, capability to reduce your water cement ratio if you use high range water reducing mixtures. Part of it is that, and then part of it is. Uh, if you look at Flash F, for example, which we have problem with early strength of it, one of the only few mixtures with Flash F uh, that can work even with, with reduced amount content, with 20% reduction, is when you use PCE. So for three day, you see uh, for three day you see for three day for uh, this mixtures for 10% reduction you see a, a 20 MPA or 3,000 psi, and then uh, here you see 10. So you you basically can't use a flash F at a reduced amount of content, but you can use it at a 10% reduction even with PCE. So it gives you information like that, and then this is just a graphical representation of, of uh, the mixtures at different water cement ratios. Uh, this is a, the, if you look at the reduced again, you see the lower, the, the one at the top, which is still uh, helping you using 20% reduction, is a C1 with PCE using the slag and reduced amount of content. The one, the blue, and then if you, if you look at the purple and the green, there are also a C2 and C3 with mid range, uh, with reduced amount content. So there there are some compatibility and incompatibility depending on type of admixture and type of supplementary cementitious material. So you might be finding some mixtures which is uh, still you can use the the, the normal admixtures that the that DOT is using, for, uh, but uh, with, with just a little tweak of changing the admixture, uh, dosage, and things like that. So if you look at rapid chloride permeability for three day and 90 days, there, is a, there are a few interesting things. If you slash F, the permeability is too high, but then within, if you change, if you go from 30 day to 90 day, it goes from uh, 20, between 3,000 to 1,600, it, it goes down to 900 to 600, which is which is a difference between uh, uh, a high permeability to to low permeability uh, based on the spec. And then the other thing is, again, the mixtures with slag and class C fly ash have low permeability normally from beginning, even at 30 days. And then at a at a at, if you compare different admixtures, PCE mixtures usually. One reason, again, is, 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 is that those mixtures have had lower water cement ratio, but we're talking about practical mixtures here. I mean, we're, so this is just a graphical representation. Most of the mixtures are below 2,000, or I should say 3,000, actually, uh, for 30 days. But then uh, the, for 90 days, almost all the mixtures are below 2,000. So. Again, with a little bit change of looking at your uh, chemical admixture compatibility, you, you, you will be able to have mixtures that, that can improve their durability properties. So uh, the mixtures containing slag and class C flash, again, have, have at very, very low permeability, which you look at these two mixtures, C1, uh, southern aggregate, mid-range, and naphthalin. Uh, with slack, these are the two mixtures that are showing promising results. Uh, if you look at reduced cement, further reduced, 20% reduced cement content, uh, uh, again, you see the lowest are the one with the slack and flash C. 
even we're, we're replacing 30% of it with 30% uh, of cement with, with uh, uh, SCM. If you look at freestyle, again, the spec requires us to do 300 cycles, so we have not passed that to see what, what, what's going to happen after that and what, what cycles they're going to fail and how much mass they're going to lose. But almost all the mixtures are passing uh, durability, uh, freestyle uh, requirements. Uh, the reason for that, they're all, the spec is 6 plus minus 2%, uh, but they're, they're all passing because they have enough air content and uh, the water sensitivity has been taken care of. So we are expecting that they pass free stuff. So again, for, as far as free stuff going, class C and then high range water reducing and slag are showing promising results. If you look at the mass loss, uh, some mixtures without uh, PCE, without supplementary cementitious materials, they gain mass. Uh, the one reason for that might be uh, if uh, those mixtures were, have had high air content, so they have not, they have, they have lost less mass because they had more air content, if that makes sense. And then if you look at reduced cement, reduced, uh, further reduced cement, cement content, again, uh, the mid range and then PCE uh, uh, without SCM is gain math. Uh, I still stand with the same explanation for that. Uh, if, so the overall performance of the mix, if you want to generally look at this, the PCE admixtures with, uh, are able to reduce your water cement ratio to a lower level, so that gives you some uh, you know, some, some free hand as far as durability going. And then uh, with, you can also further reduce your cement content using PCE and it's still passing the spec uh, down to 20%. Uh, Flash F uh, was showing low uh, early strength at 20% reduction, but at 10% it was showing promising results. And it passed all the durability, and then the, the, even the durability results for, for Flash and for are pretty outstanding. So, if you can take if 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 the uh, strength is being taken care of, uh, you will not be able to reach 20% reduction. But if the strength is being taken care of at 10% reduction, you can definitely use that. Uh, for slag cement, uh, the the strength is 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 uh, strongly increased with re with reduced cement content, and then for flash F, uh, again as I mentioned, it had it showed uh, good durability results. So uh, use of uh, selected supplementary cementitious materials will uh, is, is an important thing when you when you talk about durability and you have all these admixtures happening and then all companies coming to, to DOT or, or to you and saying our product is the best. You have to know what, what kind of material you're using and looking at uh, looking at actual results. But it, I don't know, it probably might be helpful for some other states uh, to use these results. But we're not done with our research. It, these, these results are almost out of the lab. And we have uh, done a lot of image analysis and um, airborne analysis on these. Uh, we're still working on it. Uh, for PCE, use of PCE is, is highly recommended. Uh, Wisconsin, again, is not using uh, PCE class admixtures, but that, that's a great, that, that brings, it brings in a lot of benefits with it. And then Flash C, uh, there is not, not basically problems as far as the strength and durability with Flash C. Uh, then I would like to encourage our, uh, I would like to acknowledge our uh, sponsors, uh, C Fire, Wisconsin DOT, uh, NSF, uh, UWM RGI, uh, the companies who provide us with, with their aggregates, We Energy, and then uh, Lafarge, Holstein, San Mary. Uh, obviously, the chemical companies, Grace, BSF, and the chemicals, and uh, Wisconsin DOT, and our research group. If any questions, I'd like to say that.